Hello guys, Pro up 2010 with you today, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download games from the Miniclip website for free. So, let's begin. Now before we begin, I do have to warn you that games that require uh, Shockwave player won't work, and games that are multiplayer probably won't work also since you're going to be playing them offline. So, keep that in mind when you're going to try to download a game. Now, this newest game, Rodeo Rideoff, for example, it's a 3D game, and it requires uh, Shockwave to, to play it. And we can't download this because there is not really a thing that can read Shockwave files for PC. Or can I actually find even find the source of the file? So the, the, this whole tutorial consists of us finding the source of the file where the SWF object is located and viewing it and downloading it from their website. So that might get you confused, but don't worry. Let's just let me show what I'm talking about. Now, Fancy Pants 1, Fancy Pants 2. I stunt. I think I stunt also. Let's just do I stunt. Uh, these do not require uh, any extra plugins. And if you right click on this, you can see that it doesn't give you any extra options like 3D renderer. It just shows you that you have Flash Player and Miniclip Game Manager. If you have these options here, most likely you'll be able to download the game. If you have extra options such as 3D renderer, graphics, and all these extra extra options in this right click menu then probably it requires Shockwave and you won't be able to install the game or download it. So, keep that in mind. Okay, now having enough of said, having enough said, excuse me, let me answer a phone call. Alright, sorry I had to answer a phone call. But, having enough said, let's begin this, uh, this tutorial. I'm going to right click on your page and go to view page source. Or if you're in Firefox, control U is going to open up the source page of the current page that you're on. So we want to download this game and that's what we're going to do. We're going to press Ctrl F on your keyboard or go to edit and press find. And here you want to find a little, little, uh, little, pa little part of the string .swf. And uh, when you press .swf, type it in, it should automatically search for the name down here. Now you can see gameloader.swf. This does not, this is not anyhow relevant to the name of the game, I stunt too. So, you want to skip that. Gameloader.swf usually is not the game source. You want to press next. I stunt to that SWF. Now, this sounds a little bit more like, uh, like the game name. So, you want to copy the whole name with the file extension. Right click and press copy. And exit out of the window. Then, at the very end of the URL box, paste the name. So, we have this whole entire name. And we just pasted the I stunt to that SWF. Then, press go or press enter on your keyboard. And you can see that the game should appear in full screen. Now, it's still loading for me, but you see, as you can see, it appears in full screen. And you can go to F Firefox, save page as, and you can save it as an SWF file and put it on your flash drive and play it offline. Now, you may ha uh, have to sometimes ha trial and error to figure out which one is the game. If you're if you know for sure it's not a, it doesn't require Shockwave and it's not multiplayer, you 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 could just uh, view the page source and then find the SWF and you could just copy these and paste them at the very end and it's like oops this does not look like uh, this does not look like this is the it so you're gonna go back you're gonna view page source you're gonna view another one press next and as you can see we have this other one and if we copy and paste that it turns out that this is the original source of the file so you basically sometimes have to do a trial and error uh, to figure out because sometimes the names might get a little bit tricky. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.